What's good, my read for the culture, friends and family? Thanks for joining me again as I read a special series of international children's stories brought to you by the Dubai UAE Expo 2020 school program. At Read for the Culture, we celebrate, appreciate, and patronize our authors and illustrators by adding their stories to our at-home libraries. So please visit the description box for a link to your free copy of the Expo 2020 Children's Tales from Around the World. Now that you have your story, find a cozy spot to read and your Read for the Culture passport because this story takes our imagination to Kazakhstan, a country located in Central Asia. Ready to take off? Okay, explorers, let's get reading. How the Mouse Got His Year, illustrated by Amina Casanova. The year of the sheep is the simplest for people, bringing the most happiness and the least burden. The year of the cow often brings difficult winters and merciless blizzards and snowstorms. A man who is born in the year of the dog is destined for an unforgiving life that will forever test his patience. Years of the sheep Horse, cow, snake, snow leopard, chicken, snail, and boar have their own signs and meanings too. But the first year belongs to the mouse. Let us tell you the story of how the little mouse got his year. For an endless amount of time, the animals found themselves fighting and arguing constantly over who would get the first year of the Eastern calendar named after them. Cow said, I provide men with milk to drink, food to eat, and pelt to keep them warm. The first year rightfully belongs to me. Well, not only do I provide men with everything that you do, but I carry men to the faraway lands on my back, replied Horse. Poor Horse, you are so fragile, challenged Camel. How can your strength be compared to mine? Put half of my load on you and you will fall and groan. You also live in idleness when you are blessed with plenty of food. Your appetite is fed with good hay and oats and your thirst quenched with spring water. Yet I eat mere thorns and can survive without a single drop of water for several days on end. My milk is also very tasty. My meat is edible and my pelt is sturdy. Pushing everyone aside, Sheep ran to the middle and declared, From what wool would a Kazakh man make a felted cloth to cover their yurt? Why a sheep's wool, of course. My wool can grace any man with a wonderful sheepskin coat. Take a hunk of lamb and you have the best meal for yourself. The milk and cheese that comes from me is unique from any of yours. The first year shall be mine. For once, the animals couldn't argue or deny what Sheep had said. Could he be right? Suddenly, Dog jumped into the middle of the animal's huddle. Nonsense, Dog exclaimed. If it weren't for me, your precious wool would have been gobbled up by the wolves. And in this futile fashion, the animals argued until the last rays of sunshine sank behind the mountains and the purple skies grew dark and filled with stars. As cow, horse, camel, sheep, dog, and even rooster argued, Mouse didn't make a single peep. Once the animals grew tired and silent, Mouse spoke up. Whoever sees the sunrise first shall get the first year of the Eastern calendar. The animals were delighted, each one thinking they were guaranteed to be the first to see the sun. 
Camel had no doubt that his height would promise him victory in seeing the sunrise first. Mouse stood next to Camel as the animals gathered to face the east. Camel laughed. <laughs> Poor little foolish mouse. You can't possibly think you will be the first to see the sun. Camel grinned. Waiting one hour in the morning is better than waiting two hours in the evening, Mouse responded. Oh, please, Camel huffed. I am the tallest of all and will be the absolute first to see the sunrise. Before dawn, the animals began looking into the distance. Camel could feel something tickling the top of his hump. The sun! The sun! Mouse shouted, pointing and jumping with excitement. Only then did the camel realize that Mouse had quietly climbed up his long hair to stand on his hump. Angry, Camel threw Mouse off his hump and squished him with his foot. Sly little Mouse escaped and slipped into a nearby pile of ashes. Mouse claimed the first year and Camel's arrogant thoughtlessness lost him a year in the Eastern calendar. To this day, Camel continues rolling around in that same pile of ashes, hoping to trample over Mouse and get his year back. Story time extra. What do you think? Which of the Eastern Zodiac animals are you most like and why? Did you know? Kazakhstan has a rich oral tradition which largely consists of epic poems, ballads, and verse tales performed in songs called Kiwi by traveling storytellers called Zersai and improvisational poets called Akins. Recitals and contests known as Adis performed by Akin were popular forms of entertainment in the olden days and are featured at many festivals and gatherings today. Think about it. Many Eastern countries follow a zodiac calendar. Which animals do they share and which animals are different? If you create your own zodiac, which animals would you include and what characteristics would each be known for? Well, my read for the culture, friends and family, I certainly hope you enjoyed that story just as much as I did. Go ahead and grab your read for the culture passport because together we can color in Kazakhstan on our world map. And also remember to download your free How the Mouse Got His Year Visa. At Read for the Culture, we enjoy reading inspiring, uplifting, multicultural stories for the entire family to enjoy. So hit the notification bell in order to be notified about the next episode from the Expo 2020 Children's Tales from Around the World.